Gunfire at a Texas college. Hello, everybody. I'm Logan Crawford. Thanks for making Ebru your choice for news and information. Here's a look at the stories making headlines right now. Picking up the pieces after Sandy. Hello, I'm Logan Crawford. Thanks for making Ebru your choice for news, information, and special extended storm coverage. Here's a look at the stories making headlines right now. Raising the ceiling. Hello, everybody. I'm Logan Crawford. Thanks for making Ebru your choice for news and information. Here's a look at the stories making headlines right now. This is Ebru News with Logan Crawford. The GOP controlled House raises the debt ceiling, pushing off any arguments over spending until the spring. But many Democrats oppose the measure, calling it a gimmick that sets up a new fiscal cliff. And also, once you're hit, you have to go negative. Yeah, you've got to respond. Uh, James Fallows of uh, U.S. News and World Report actually wrote a book called Going Negative, and he looked at the phenomenon of political ads, and the bottom line is that they work, and they work for two reasons. One, they solidify the base, and two, they actually drive down the electorate. It discourages people from voting. Baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. It is considered the list of the all-American life. But there's something or someone else that belongs on that list, too. Hello and welcome to Open Forum. I'm Logan Crawford. We're talking about the mayor, the mayor of your small town or big city in the United States. He or she is the person with whom the buck stops, who gets things done, sees to it that the trains run on time and is there when disaster strikes. New York City has had some legendary mayors from Fiorello LaGuardia, who was even the subject of a Broadway musical, to Rudy Giuliani, whose crackdown on quality of life crime reclaimed parts of the Big Apple that were rotten. Open Forum now explores this all-American political post, the mayor. And turning now to business news, U.S. stocks rise with the S&P gaining for a sixth consecutive session. The up to coming as lawmakers voted to extend the nation's borrowing limit, as you heard earlier, and as Apple advanced ahead of results due after the close. Apple shares gained 1.8 percent. The Dow and the S&P ended at five-year highs, with the S&P within reach of the psychologically important 1500 level. Now here's a look at the closing numbers on Wall Street. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rises 67 points. The Nasdaq climbs 11 points. The S&P is up two points. Gold drops seven dollars an ounce, and oil is down a dollar fifteen a barrel. And that is it for this edition of Ebru News on TV and online at ebrunews.com. I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time.